Hello everyone! Today I have something for sweet lovers. I'm gonna show you how can I make this delicious cake with brownies, chocolate mousse, white chocolate ganache and red currant poached with lime. So I hope you're gonna like it and let's do it! And let's start with chocolate brownies. I'm gonna need butter, plain flour, dark chocolate, eggs and sugar. I leave full recipe in the description down below so you can check it out. And I start with mixing chocolate and butter on bar marie and I'm gonna melt it slowly. Never melt your chocolate directly on the stove because otherwise you can burn it easily. When everything is melted, I put it on the side to cool it down a little bit. And in the meantime, I will mix my eggs and sugar inside the bowl. And by the way guys, if you are not following me on Instagram, I totally recommend you to do it, so you can ask me personally your questions about cooking. Before you mix the eggs and chocolate together, make sure the chocolate has maximum 35 or 40 degrees Celsius, otherwise you're gonna cook your eggs. When you mix both together, the last thing you're missing is plain flour. I recommend you to use colander so you don't get any lumps inside. And now you can transfer it in any mold you like. And if you want to bake it around 170 degrees Celsius, 15 to 25 minutes, depend on the thickness. So the brownies is inside the oven. And the next thing I have to do is dark chocolate mousse. I'm gonna need gelatin, dark chocolate, milk, sugar, double cream and egg yolks. I start with putting gelatin leaves inside the cold water. And then I'm gonna bring to the boil my milk inside a small pot. After that, I can mix my sugar and egg yolks inside the bowl and when the milk is boiling, I can mix them both together slowly. Just make sure you don't put the milk in too fast, otherwise you scramble your eggs. Now it's time to transfer everything back inside the pot and I'm gonna cook it slowly until I reach 85 degrees Celsius. And at this point, I can mix it with my dark chocolate and I'm gonna melt it everything slowly together. The chocolate mix is still warm, so I can put my gelatin leaves and melt them in as well. At this time, it's my brownie already baked. So I take it out from the oven and I leave it on the side to cool it down completely. And the last thing I need for my chocolate mousse is whipped cream. So I'm gonna whisk it till thick inside the bowl and let's mix them both together. Just make sure, again, the chocolate have to be cold before you mix the cream in. And always, you mix it in part by part. And you should end up with beautiful chocolate mousse like this. And now I can put it on top of the brownies. And again, these brownies are completely cold. I just make it flat a little bit and I put it inside the fridge overnight to set. And the last layer of my cake is gonna be white chocolate ganache. So let's do it! For this ganache, it's super easy recipe. You start with boiling cream inside a pot. Then you transfer it on top of the white chocolate and you melt it slowly. When the chocolate is completely melted, you can add second part of the cold cream in. Mix everything properly and I'm gonna leave it inside the fridge overnight to set as well. Just make sure you put clean film on the top so you don't get any crust there. And the next day I start with my poached red currant. 
So I mix water, sugar, star anise and lime juice inside the pot and I'm gonna bring it to the boil. Then I cover my red currant with this mix and I'm gonna leave it on the side to cool it down completely. Next thing I have to do is to whip my chocolate ganache. So I take out the clean film and I whisk it properly with whisk. Just make sure you don't over whisk it, otherwise everything gets split. So do it slowly and stop in the right time. And you end up with beautiful whipped ganache like this. Now I can transfer it inside a papen bag and let's decorate the cake. I put it inside the freezer for a while, so I can take it out easily. I will trim the sides a little bit, so the cake is beauty and let's decorate it with my white chocolate ganache. My cake is still a little bit frozen, so it's very easy to cut it. But when you're gonna eat it, everything's gonna be nice and soft again. I'm using this plastic decorating nozzle, but you can use whatever you want and make it your own style. And now I can put on the top my red currant poached with lime. And the last thing I want to put on the top are small leaves of lemon balm. They're gonna give you bonus flavor and even nice color. Now I can cut it to my portions and let's taste it. And I mean, you have to laugh things like this. Chocolate brownie, chocolate mousse, chocolate ganache. Is there something better as this? I don't think so. What do you think? Are you a chocolate lover? Let me know in the comments. My food inspector would like to try as well, but apparently dogs can't eat the chocolate, so today nothing for him. And if you're a passionate home cook who would like to learn to cook fine dining cooking from me personally, so you can move your cooking to the next level, start creating your own fine dining dishes and improve plating once for all, so you can really understand how fine dining works in just few months. Apply for my one-on-one -on -one online mentoring on my website chefmike.com and we can work together on your cooking goals. And if you would like to learn another delicious dessert, check out this video with creme brillée and raspberry variations. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.